Thank you so much for checking out Be Your Own Webmaster. This is a video series wherein I document a different tool, tip, or technique for finally taking control of that WordPress website. My name is Anthony Wagner, and I've been a WordPress webmaster for over 10 years. And in this video, I'm doing another troubleshooting tutorial wherein we talk about a, um, a question from a WordPress group that I'm in on Facebook. This one is about security issues and uploading various files to your website. So if you've ever tried to upload a file to your site and WordPress threw an error at you that said, sorry, can't do this for security reasons, this video should help you out. So let me move myself. Let's move this stuff out of the way and move myself out of the way. Okay. So here's the um, WordPress group on Facebook. And this person said, Autumn said, hi, everyone. Do you know how I can upload an image that is in uh, JPEG 2000 format? I keep getting an error that says, sorry, this file type is not permitted for security reasons. So uh, there's two things, two ways that you can go with this. One is getting WordPress to let you upload that file type. And two is getting Word or converting the image out of that file type. So we'll do converting the image in a different video. But in this video, let's talk about getting WordPress to cooperate. So going to come back to my uh, media section on my demo WordPress site. And I have a few different file types. This image, I had to force into that JPEG 2000 format. I had to get it to do um, what I wanted it to do. And I'm going to get it out of the JPEG format and get it into the JPM format. There's a number of different types. I learned stuff about um, the JPEG 2000 format this morning. I've never used it before. I've known it's a thing. I've seen it in, in Photoshop and stuff. But um, so let me try uploading this here. And ta-da, it says the same thing that that person ran into. Also, we use XML type files at work and we've had to try to upload those to WordPress websites before. And you can see that also will yell. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we're gonna install a plugin. Now, this is kind of a sketchy override. I'm just gonna tell you that now, but we're gonna search for WP extra file types. This is a uh, an older plugin. Oops, that's okay. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> we're gonna cut that out of there and hit add new. And then we're actually gonna search the real repository for extra file types. And it's this plugin here. And you'll notice it says untested with your version of WordPress. I don't know if they're gonna continue updating this. It's September, 2020 and it's outdated. Uh, WordPress did just update. So hopefully they keep it going. But if they don't, this may become a deprecated video over time. I know that it works for now. What I will say is this is not a plugin I would want running on my site all the time. I, if I really needed to get this file up on my site, um, I can bypass things using this plugin and then I would deactivate it. So let's install it. And I would deactivate it for security reasons, right? I wouldn't want these file types to be allowed. The security checks are in place for a reason. So WP Extra File Types is installed and you might be wondering, okay, now where the heck is it? This is a problem I ran into all the time when I first started working with WordPress was figuring out where settings were. One of the places that it's typically gonna be is under settings and you can see that it is here. Sometimes it'll appear in the appearance menu. Sometimes it'll show up in the main root menu. Sometimes it'll be under tools. In this case, it's under settings, extra file types. Okay, I already came in and configured this when I was testing it. So I'm actually gonna uncheck this box because I checked it in testing. Um, but as I scroll down, you can see all these file types that are here. So I'm gonna search for, this file type is JPM. And you see I ticked it on because that's the file type that I'm working with. There's a JPM file, that's what this is. Um, so I'm ticking that on. And then I also went through and turned on I searched for XML because that's another one we're gonna try. I actually searched for .xml to make sure I got the actual extension. And you can see I turned these on. I turned them on in all places I could find them. So there were three, I ticked them all on. And then hit save. I was testing something else. We can actually delete this because we don't need it. Hit save. And then what you're gonna find is that what I expected to happen the first time when I was testing this is I would come to this and drop the file in and it would be like, ta-da, it works. And it didn't. And I was like, well, I guess I can't do this video because this plugin doesn't work on this site. Uh, and I also tried the XML just to see if there was something. And in fact, uh, it did not work either. So I went in and was like, hmm, well, let's check out what else is going on in this plugin. And so I looked here, okay, we're gonna expand. I checked these other settings. I don't know what's happening with this site, why it keeps trying to be all small, but it's fine. Uh, it says check only file extensions to be used only if you're unable to upload files uh, you have enabled by selecting their type. 
And so I was like, well, that seems promising. So I checked that box on, scrolled all the way to the bottom of this giant obnoxious list, went back to media and library and tried to upload the files. And there they go. Uh, so that did permit it to work. So I can confirm that it's working by clicking on the file, copying the URL and pasting that in. So it's gonna actually be a live link and hitting enter and you can see that the, the file actually works. So if I open it in an incognito browser, I did that on my keyboard by hitting control shift N, command shift N probably I believe on a Mac. Uh, we're gonna enter that. So this is, I'm not logged in. I'm, I'm a user that's just on the internet. I'm not logged in at all and the file does appear. Now for the JPEG 200 file type, I don't, I don't know what it's gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea what's going to happen. So the image that we expected was this one. Uh, if I could click it and it would open, um, was this, it's a big image. So it was one I downloaded off of Unsplash. Um, that's what I expect. I, I don't think the browser is going to be able to handle this. Nothing I've seen is, yeah, it just downloads it. So for whatever reason, maybe this user is trying to share this in a file format. Maybe they're a graphic designer and I don't know what it is, but that's how you would get it. Um, I will do a video on um, converting, which is a free tool to convert files back and forth, um, but that's not the scope of this particular video. So uh, that really explains the whole thing. Oh, you know what? Let me actually come back into the site. Hold on. Before I wrap this up, what I want to remember to do, let's come back in here, uh, come back to plugins, installed, and hit deactivate. We want to turn that plugin off. We don't want that to be on all the time. I can leave it installed if you plan to use it, um, but I don't want it on all the time. Okay. That's the end of the video. So um, yes, I hope that this answers that particular question and, and helps um, Autumn on, WordPress, on the WordPress Facebook group and ho helps anyone else who's looking to upload file types with that security error. So uh, if you have any other um, comments, thoughts, suggestions, um, suggestions for future videos, please drop them in the comments on the YouTube video. I would greatly appreciate that. And also remember to check out SiteGround and Divi. The links are in the description. And as I say in each video, um, those are affiliate links. I love these products, would not recommend them if I didn't use them myself, which I do. Um, and if you do use, if you are interested in the products and do use my links, I will generate a small commission. It won't cost you a penny extra, but it will help me in keeping this show going. So I greatly appreciate that support. Uh, until next time, my name is Anthony Wagner, and I greatly appreciate you being here. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.